Hey, what's up, you guys? Bringing another action figure review to you. Um, and um, I just got this figure the other day, and uh, and this is the uh, Marvel Legends Sabretooth uh, from the X Men Apocalypse. Uh, uh, Age of Apocalypse, excuse me, from the X-Men Age of Apocalypse uh, version. That's what this Sabretooth is. And um, he also comes from the Colossus Build-A-Figure Wave, which I got this figure loose and I got him for a very good price off eBay. So I don't care about the Build-A-Figure Wave. So um, I'm not getting it, but I did want this figure. Um, and there's some pros and there's some cons. I mean, usually with most figures. Um, and um, he does have some problems that I will get into. So, first of all, he's a big boy. <laughs> As you can see, he's a big boy. But I will get into this face sculpt first. Because I think I like this face sculpt over the other one that I'm going to show in just a moment. And um, I like this face sculpt. Um, I like his whited out eyes, and I like the grit. I like the gritting uh, uh, teeth showing expression that he has going on there. But I don't like where his gums is showing on that side right there. It just looks really off to me for some reason. It just looks, it just looks odd. It just, in my opinion, um, it looks weird. So I don't really care for that, for the whole um, gums, you know, expression uh, with the grit face that he has going on there. But um, with everything else I like, um, I like this outfit. Um, I like how they colored the variation of his hair because he's a hairy boy, just like Wolverine. I like that, and um, I like how big and broad and muscular he is, which I'm going to compare him to Wolverine a little later. Um, but, I mean, as he should be, um, a lot of people are, are happy with this figure because of the mass size that Victor Creed is. Victor Creed, a.k.a. Sabretooth. Um, and I really like uh, the texturing that they put in the boots here, um, and I really like... Um, all the sculpting detail in his boots. I really like that a lot. I like the wrinkles in his boots. I like the design of his boots too. You know, he got like a nice little line there. Um, and you got the bottom, which is just plain. Uh, you got the back of the outfit. You see the back of his muscles. You see the saber tooth butt. Um, and you got this design here. Well, his whole design is based off the age of apocalypse so that's what his whole design is based off of um, and you got the metal design in his uh, gauntlets his gloves nice material you got like some minor dents and, and cracks there I love that attention to detail I love when toy companies do that that's very good. That's very nice. And on his other side, it's just, um, he doesn't have this on the other side. He just has it on one side. Um, I did not get to read the Age of Apocalypse comics, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. I don't know. I can't say per se. But, um, you know, so you got some wear and tear on this collar piece here. Also, I like that. I like that a lot. Um. Um, and I like uh, this saber tooth. I'm gonna have to bend him down a little bit because he's so big. <laughs> uh, but um, if I can get him to stand like that, I'm trying to. Yeah, but uh, this saber tooth um, is pretty solid. I'm definitely feeling it. So the accessories that. Saber tooth comes with is this alternate head. Um, it's okay. I like it. Um, and um, he has uh, pupils in his eyes in this head sculpt, and he's smiling. And you have like his little tooth sticking out there. So um, this uh, 
This head sculpt is okay. Um, got some mutton chops there. Um, and also you have these holes in the back um, because this other accessory is he comes with two, I had it upside down, he comes with two ponytails. So you can choose to have your Victor Creed with short hair or uh, uh, ponytails. Um, and uh, it should be fairly easy to just plug in there. Mm, yeah, you really got to get in there. So, bam, there you go. Uh, ponytail, saber tooth. And um, if you decide to display him with short hair, you just got to deal with he has a hole in the back of his head. But mostly you'll probably probably be displaying him from the front. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Um, he also has fisted hands. Um, he has two pair of fists. Um, and that's it for the accessories for... Uh, Mr. Sabretooth. So, um, so yeah. This way is how Sabretooth looks with the ponytail with this face. So, uh, this is him with the ponytail with this head skull. Um, and, um, yeah, so let's get into articulation. So actually, articulation, um, the ponytail doesn't really hinder um, that much, really. I don't think how far uh, he can look up. I still think he can look up a pretty decent amount, even with the ponytail. He probably could look up even further without the ponytail. Um, I don't know if I should try that or not. Um, but uh, you have rotation. 360 of course he has very good attitude he can look down about that much um, his arms can go out about that much uh, full 360 rotation upper bicep swivel single joint in the elbow I'm pretty sure single joint um, he does have wrist and hinge rotation um, no butterfly joints uh, he crunches back that far crunches forward that far he does have a full 360 waist rotation. Uh, he can split out about that much. He can kick forward about that much. He can kick back about that much. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, no boot rotation. It's flipping hinge down that much, hinge up that much, and ankle pivot. So, um, so not bad uh, for saber tooth. Um, uh, yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. And so I just wanted to see if he could look back a lot more uh, without the ponytail. And yeah, I think he could look back a little bit more. So, uh, uh, yeah, so that's Mr. Sabretooth there. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to get into size comparisons. So now we're getting into size comparisons. And like I said, Sabretooth is a big boy. Um, and also I swapped out his, um, open hands, um, for his fisted hands. So you can see how that looks, but yeah, you see how he looks up against, uh, Magneto, um, mutant brotherhood going on there. So, um, yeah, so that's how he compares Magneto. And this is how he looks next to professor Charles Xavier. Uh, so that's how he looks next to professor X. And this is my old uh, Toy Biz um, Age of Apocalypse. Uh, and um, I, def I definitely needed um, this upgrade, as you can see, because this was the only other Sabretooth I had in my collection. So I definitely needed this upgrade. Uh, and, you know, as you can see from the Toy Biz um, Age of Apocalypse version, um, it's a big difference. Uh, it's a big difference, as you can see. Um, and here he is next to Lady Deathstrike. God, I love this Lady Deathstrike. I love her so much. I love this figure. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, there he is compared up to Lady Deathstrike. And here he is compared up to the Kingpin. Um, and that's kind of insane. Because I kind of got the Kingpin's knees kind of slightly bent. And he still towers over Sabretooth. Not just in size, but 
um, in height. So that's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, Sabretooth ain't no slouch. I mean, they. Uh, I mean, Kingpin is not that that much taller than him, but I mean, of course, um, he's larger than him. So that's just wow. That's um, that's a very interesting comparison. I'm, um, I'm glad I did that. And last but certainly not least, wow. Uh, <laughs> You got Logan, you got Wolverine <laughs> that fact up against Sabretooth. So just let that sink in. Look how much larger Sabretooth is compared to Wolverine. But you know what though? It it, it just it it goes for a lot of fun factor. Um that's all I could say to that. Uh that just would go for a lot of fun factor. So uh yeah, so Wolverine paired up. Um, to Sabretooth, and of course, Sabretooth just towers over Wolverine. Um, and just for fun, I just thought I would um, put Wolverine in his X-Men suit um, up against Sabretooth as well. Okay, so final thoughts overall. What do I think of this figure? Um, I think it's a good figure. I think it's a solid figure. Um, the pros is definitely his size. Uh, this is a very large um, saber tooth. I know a lot of collectors have been wanting that for a long time because the other saber tooths that came out, I don't think were at the mass size that this saber tooth is. So I think that that's probably the biggest selling point of this um, saber tooth. Um, me personally, I don't really have a connection with this iteration of Sabretooth, um, the Age of Apocalypse version, I think me personally, I would prefer a more classic Sabretooth, which I think that they are going to release eventually, which is going to annoy me because I already got this one, but I really needed like a Sabretooth in my collection. So I was like, this is the one available and this is the one for the most reasonable price I can get. Um, especially um, shout out to the seller on eBay that um, gave me a very nice offer and the price I got them for is really good. Um, uh but um you know um yeah the size is his biggest selling point um i do like this face better than the other one but like i said the whole thing with his gums um i think they could have just left that out and just if they would have left his face without the gums and just that gritting uh teeth showing scowl that he has right there this face sculpt would have been perfect for me um but I do like this figure a lot. Um, another negative I have with it is that they gave him open hands and fisted hands, but Sabretooth has claws. So either they should have included a third set of hands with claws um, that you could visibly see through his gloves, or they should have just said forget one of the one of the two hands, either the fisted hands or the open hands. I would say they should have just turned the open hands into the clawed hands. I think that would have satisfied um more collectors um and it would have satisfied me as well because you know i'm used to saber tooth having claws so uh yeah that's another negative but um overall i'm satisfied with this figure uh i guess i would give it in eight out of ten uh i think it's a really good figure sculpt um certain uh added uh, details and um, some of the paint that they put in was good um, I don't know how accurate he is to the source material because like I said I haven't read that storyline um, X-Men Age of Apocalypse but uh, I think that this is a very solid figure um, and I am happy with this Sabretooth and I needed an upgraded Sabretooth for my Toy Biz one because you know and I just missed out on all the other Sabretooths I just did I missed out um, but I guess missing out might have been a good thing because this is the biggest size saber tooth. So I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth on it. I know that when they release a classic one on this, um, a more classic saber tooth on this body, um, I know I'm 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 probably going to want to get it, but I'm going to be frustrated because I have this one. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what Hasbro does. Uh, Marvel Legends because they usually do stuff like that so we'll see so that's my review guys of this um, Marvel Legends 
Age of Apocalypse Sabretooth from the Colossus build a figure wave and um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it informative and until the next time guys see ya